M. Knight, Shalaman, Shalaman, Shyamalan, who cares how to say his name? Um, he's being held as one of the best directors of our time. I used to agree with that, but not anymore. I'm kind of pissed off at him, and this is why I hate him. 1999, he came out with The Sixth Sense. I didn't go see the movie right when it came out, but when I did see it, I was kind of blown away. Um, in a slow way, but I was blown away. Uh, Bruce Willis, can't go wrong. He was a star at Die Hard, and uh, used to be in a little show called Moonlighting. I don't know if you've seen it, it's pretty awesome. Went and saw the movie, was kind of bored the entire time. I was like tired, wanted to go to sleep, but I didn't, I stuck through it. And then at the end, you find out that he's been dead the whole time. Mind blowing. So two days later, I actually went and saw the movie again. Uh, the next year, Unbreakable came out, also with Bruce Willis, this time at Sam Jackson. Can't really go wrong with Sam Jackson. I don't know about who Sam Jackson's been in, that he was a star, but uh, yeah, you know, Sam Jackson, he was in Pulp Fiction. Bruce Willis, he was in Die Hard. Put them together, magic, I'm right? I'm not a mistake. Well, I have to agree. That's uh, M. Night's best it movie and my favorite. Um, in a comic, had a comic you know how you can tell who the end, villain's going to you be? You know, there was this whole He's the exact good versus evil plot going on. The hero. Kind of like surprise and ending that everybody like you, couldn't see me. coming, but that magical line that, 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 that you know why, Sam Jackson man? delivers blows your mind. Two years later, Signs came out. Uh, Signs was about some aliens coming and, you know, taking over the Earth. Well, no. it had uh, Swing Mel away. Gibson. I kind of hate Mel Gibson. He was all right in Lethal Weapon, but other than that, he kind of sucks. And everybody seems to hate him now, so that's okay. You can say that, right? Everybody hates Mel Gibson. Well, Signs, it had Joaquin Phoenix in it as well. And they wore these little aluminum hats made of aluminum foil. It was pretty stupid, but it was kind of funny. And the aliens was kind of, you know, the aliens that they showed were kind of hokey and cheesy, but that's all right. Uh, you seem to find out at the end of the movie that it's all about faith. You know, then you start thinking about Six Sense and Unbreakable. Those all had to do with faith. So that happened. That movie was pretty good. He seemed to be on top of the world in night. Well, two years later, in 2004, The Village came out. When The Village came out, everybody seemed to already have an idea about the movie. They knew it was going to have a surprise ending at the end because that's what M. Night does. You came from the woods. Well, we see The Village. You know, it's kind of boring. It has the same pacing of uh, Six Sense. Doesn't want to really Will keep you, you interested, but you're already there because you know that there's going to be a surprise ending. Need to find Come a to find out medicine. at the end of the movie, they're not in the 1800s or wherever Listen, they portray to be. They're actually in modern day times in you know Pennsylvania, right to. next to a city in this little landlocked area, and the blind girl has to go and save the world or save the tribe or whatever the hell they are. Two years later, Lady in the Water. I still to this day don't know really what Lady in the Water is about. Watched it a couple times, had Paul Giamatti in it. And uh, it was about a swimming pool and maybe an alien or a mermaid or something like that. So Lady in the Water, I think, was maybe M. Night's weakest movie. And then two years later, which is actually his worst movie, maybe not his weakest, but his worst, uh, in 2008, The Happening came out. And The Happening had Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg, Funky Bunch, you know, you remember him. Well. I think he's a fine actor. He's in Boogie Nights. Boogie no, no. Nights was amazing. Uh, he's done a couple other good movies, a couple bad ones, but for the most part, Marky Mark knows how to act. No, no. He apparently did not know how to act in The Happening. Um, the plot was about some bugs taking over the world and killing everybody with paralysis or something stupid. Um, but the movie failed to meet my expectations, and I started thinking about how much M. Night kind of failed me throughout the, all the other movies. And uh, I watch Signs now and I'm not really interested. I won't watch Unbreakable because I really like that. Um, that's my favorite M. Night movie and I don't want to ruin that whole idea of Unbreakable being a horrible movie. But Signs kind of sucks, The Village kind of sucks, Lady in the Water sucks, and The Happening sucks. And he's got a new movie out that he didn't even write called uh, Avatar, which I thought James Cameron just came out with Avatar. I don't know why you're gonna come out with another movie called Avatar. I don't care if it's from some Japanese anime, comic book, sci-fi crap. You don't need to do it. And if you didn't know, M. Night Shyamalan wrote the screenplay for Stuart Little. So you probably didn't even know that the mouse was dead the entire time. 